Hello, hello, hello. It is Dr. Maisha Cherry, your mind and body coach, yoga instructor, and fitness instructor, here today to talk to you about acceptance. So, what is acceptance? You may be wondering. Acceptance is when you willfully acknowledge what is. It is what it is. And when you accept it, you don't have any judgment on it. And you can move on in your life with more resi resiliency. And that's really, really key. All right? Keep it in mind that what is does not mean you have to agree with it. It does not mean you're quitting. It doesn't mean you're weak. You're just simply acknowledging what is. So why should you practice acceptance one because it helps you to develop more humility you become more humble and that is a great quality to have also it helps you to focus on your locus of control because we can't control everything we a lot of things we can't control actually we can only control ourselves and how we react to what's going on in the world um, our thoughts and feelings about it those are also controllable but how other people think how other people feel what other people do we have no control over those things. Practicing acceptance helps you to be more aware of your current situation. So you're more um, present, uh, you know what's going on, and you're looking at it objectively instead of from a skewed lens of what you want. Practicing acceptance makes you a better problem solver because you're really truly seeing what the situation is for what it is, not how you want it to be. And also, Practicing acceptance helps you to come to greater peace more quickly because you're going ahead and feeling your feelings instead of trying to brush them under the rug until they blow up. So you're feeling your feelings. You are getting that process over and done with. When you push your feelings away, when you deny your feelings, it never leads to anything good. So always go ahead and feel those feelings, acknowledge them, and move on to greater peace. So how can you practice acceptance? Well, one way is aparigraha, which is a word I learned in yoga when I was getting my yoga training, the eight limbs of yoga. And aparigraha is Sanskrit for non-attachment. So not being attached to things, not being attached to outcomes, not being attached to situations, to circumstances, to people, all of those things that we normally try to, you know, attach ourselves to and we get upset when things don't go our way well not being attached is a great way to practice acceptance acknowledging things for what they are whether you know we reach the goal or not or whether we reach the goal when we want to reach it or not maybe we had to learn something along the way so learning along the way a lot of times causes us to have to slow down because we were expecting to just shoot through to our goals that's not how life works. <laughs> Things happen all the time. We are not in control. There is a higher power who is. So learning along the way can help slow things down sometimes because sometimes it takes a minute for us to learn. We may, we may have to hit our heads a couple times. So when you don't reach your goal as soon as you want, it's okay. Accept it. Also, sometimes you need to adjust your goal. If you weren't realistic about your goal, then you may need to shift it. So that's something else along the way. Another way to practice um, acceptance is letting go. So hold things with a loose grasp, not so tight. Think about it, when you hold things really tight, you're creating more stress and more tension. When you release it, you're able to relax, breathe through. So let go and hold loosely things practice a parigraha non grasping okay so when you practice acceptance your life becomes so much more enjoyable you stress less um, you hold less tension on things and you just open up yourself to possibilities and to more awareness to greater peace which is really really important especially during these times and keep in mind when you're holding on to stress that is not helping you because it depresses your immune system and we definitely want strong immune systems while we are in the battle with COVID-19 
coronavirus. So the less stress you have, the better. So let go, release tension, accept things as they are. It's okay, it's okay. Whether you accept it or not, it's gonna be what it is. So you might as well accept it and roll with the flow. Just saying. So that was our let's talk today. Let's talk acceptance. So thank you so much for tuning in. I am Dr. Naisha Cherry, your mind and body coach, your yoga instructor, and your fitness instructor. Should you need my services, feel free to reach out to me at Naisha at NaishaCherry.com. That's email. Or you can respond to this video or you can um, private message me. So as always, comment below. Let me know where you can practice some acceptance in your life or if you find yourself practicing acceptance or avoiding it. So just give me some commentary. Let me know what's on your mind in relation to acceptance. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be blessed. And I'll see you next time on Let's Talk. <laughs>